I usually put a little bit of cheese. Good afternoon, lovelies. Hang on, let me take this off. I'm just like, I, I, as you can tell, my hair is wet. I look fucking awful. <laughs> Well, you know what, I actually don't feel too bad considering I did a workout per se. Um, hang on, let, just give me a moment, I need to fix this shit. Ah, that's much better. So my son had the swimming carnival on today, so today's Monday. Anyway, um, yeah, so I was basically at the pool all day. I'm freaking starving. This silly nut person of myself forgot to eat today because I was too busy being in the water. Um, so I went there basically to watch my son, but because of the COVID thing, we weren't allowed. So I figured, well, I'm already at the pool, so why the hell not? And um, at the time, they had like this aqua fitness class happening. So I was like, yeah, sure, why not? The doctors have said that I should give it a try. And I did, I gave it a go. Um, it was actually really good considering when I do exercise on land, um, I can only last about five minutes and that's on my bad days. Um, no, really, that's on my good days. You sometimes 10 minutes, but yeah. And I, before I'm actually like tapping out going, nah, I can't do no more. So I thought I'd give this aqua fitness thing a go. Um, it actually wasn't too bad. It was really good. You could definitely know, you definitely can feel the, the fitness wagging. <laughs> um, like, but then I kind of stayed in the water and just floated around like a jellyfish. So it was really good. I enjoyed it. Got me out of the house. Um, I did a workout, even though because we were in the water, it doesn't feel like you're working out but you are, which is really good. But I have to admit, because I was in the pool all day and I did that session, holy crap, I'm sore. <laughs> but I did that to myself by staying in the water and just swimming around like a silly person that I am. So I'll probably feel this tomorrow. Um, but yeah, so today's been not really much of a recording. Um, so I'm just going to give you a little update. Uh, but yeah, so I did that for my fibro today. And I really, really enjoyed it. So for anyone, I'm so sorry that I'm talking while I have food in my mouth. It's so rude. So for anyone that has fibro, definitely recommend the Aqua Fitness. At least give it a try. I think I might even, because it's like, I think $18. So basically 20 bucks for a session. And I'm not the richest person in the world. I can't, I won't lie. Um, so I might make it like a weekly thing. Look, it depends on really if I can afford it, but I might do it as just a casual thing um, to actually do a workout there. Um, Cause I really enjoyed it. I, I even met some really lovely elderly ladies um, and they were so beautiful. They were so nice. And like, they just accepted me straight away into the group. Cause I was very worried they were gonna be judgy because they're like, oh, what's a young, lady like you doing in this kind of class you look f perfectly healthy blah, blah blah none of that and I felt so welcome and they even invited me to my uh, little after like after the session fitness thing was over they invited me to co go and have a cup of tea with them and some biscuits which is all me I love going for a cup of tea and some biscuits um so I really appreciated that they were such lovely ladies and yeah, I, I just really, really enjoyed it. And that was so nice. So it actually really gave me a pick-me-up today. I really, I gotta do this more often. <laughs> um, I felt like I was a part of a club. It was awesome. But anyway, um, so yeah, just wanted to update you on that's what I did for today. Um, not sure what else might happen for later today, but we'll see. I'm sure I'll show you anyway. So yeah. I just wanted to say, try out Aqua Fitness. It is so much fun. Um, and you get a workout and it feels like you're not really doing anything. You look, you just feel like you're having fun with a bunch of people. Um, it, yeah, it was pretty cool. But you know what I mean? Like, I just, I don't know what it was, but I just felt 
accepted. I don't know why. It's going to sound really silly of me to say, but I just, I felt, I felt accepted when, um, there was no judgment, no nothing. And that's why I get along with a lot of the older ladies or, you know, older generation. It's just, they don't judge you. They don't care. They just, they accept you with all your flaws. And that's what I really liked. And I just had a blast today. Um, it just made me feel really, really good. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to eat this and uh, go grab the kitties after school has finished. All right, bye. <laughs> pizza bread um, so basically this is what I usually do when I'm in the mood for pizza but don't really have a pizza base so I just chuck it on some bread and it works every time um, you can add whatever you want to yours I usually put a little bit of cheese I usually add a little bit of cheese just because I'm kind of lactose intolerant <laughs> um, so I'm being naughty but if I have a little bit, I sh I'm usually okay. Um, and then I add barbecue sauce because I love barbecue sauce on it. You don't have to, but that's just what I like. It tastes good to me. So, um, but yeah. Uh, so doing the pizza, I was going to go for a walk today and take the dogs for a walk, but because of yesterday doing the Aquafit plus doing basically staying at the pool all day roughly um until school pick up i am definitely feeling it i think i should have just left it at, at as the um i should have just left it at the aqua fitness and maybe swam a little bit for maybe like one more hour but not for as long as i did maybe i should have just left it at the aqua fit to be honest um because i'm definitely oh feeling quite drained um and that's my fault because i decided to stay and to continue playing around in the water <laughs> um because i didn't feel pain i felt like my joints weren't hurting um i wasn't in a lot of pain it was just like i felt really good and really relieved which was really for like the first time in my life i felt no pain <laughs> Um, but the moment I got home and I started to like just plod along around the house doing dinner and starting to actually relax a bit, that's when it really hit me. And it hit me really hard in like the back, like my lower part of the back and my legs and, um, and my arms. I'm still feeling it today. So I'm going to take a break. I'm not going to do anything today, and even though it's going to drive me mad. I'm thinking of doing some cooking, so I might show you the, some of the cooking if I remember to. Um, but I don't think I'm going to get a lot done today. I, I really wanted to go for a walk with the dogs today. I'm really, I really wanted to do this where I try and at least walk every day or do something quite light. But because of me being me and I can't help but just go ahead and just do what I'm not supposed to do. <laughs> I'm really feeling it today. So yeah, I should have probably just left it at the Aqua Fitness. I'm so sorry if you can hear that noise outside. It happens every time I record. Um, yeah, so pretty much it's just, 
I'm taking a break today, okay? But um, yeah, I'm gonna eat this pizza. I'm gonna drink my water. Um, and I, I don't know what I'm gonna do today, but I know I'm gonna be very bored and I'm gonna wanna do things, but hubby said I should probably relax because if I don't, I'm gonna make it worse, which is usually what happens because when I don't listen to him, he's always right. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm not really going to, to get, I'm not going to get much done today, but I'm trying to try to take it easy. Like I'm actually literally slowly walking around because I don't want to stir my back up any more than what it is feeling like. Um, my elbows are really hurting and my knees are really hurting. It, you know what? Everything hurts. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to eat this. I'm going to drink um, my water and I'll see what else I'm going to do, get up to for the day. <laughs> Wednesday as you can tell I am just like uh, honestly right now I'm a little bit frustrated I'm a little bit upset um, first of all I've woken up and I'm still freaking in pain and it's because of Monday um, and I did do some nice light stretching um, I'll probably do stretching today considering I'm still feeling quite sore um, but that's not the reason why I'm frustrated. I was trying to do a nice thing for these damn birds and one of them freaking got out and I'm not, I don't even know how I'm going to explain this to the kids. Uh, they're going to hate me. Yeah, I was trying to put nesting in because they were all attacking each other and I thought if I put some nests in, um, it'll stop them, it'll stop them from fighting and just... I can't believe I was just having a moment where I didn't think and um, yeah when I put it in one of them just they just phew, gone it's still around here I'm trying to coach it back into the cage and everything um, it hasn't basically left it's just hiding in a tree and um, I just can't believe, can't believe it got out and it's really annoying me and I'm really upset about it oh Anyway, um, yeah, so I went to Bunnings because I was grabbing um, some bird, a uh, little bit bird feeders. I wanted to get some new ones because I've separated the little, um, the little one from the rest because the rest of them just attacked it like crazy. Um, and it's because it's got like a crook foot and its foot is basically, it just doesn't work. So they all attack that little tiny one. So I've separated that one from the lot and. Um, yeah, so that's what I needed from Pet Barn. And then, and then, hold on a minute. Okay, so there is one, there's one positive about this day. But I found out that I could get a free dog tag. 
because of me being like a gold member or something and um, I got like to a certain stage or certain points or something don't know just happy I got one and of course I had to get it for my boy that's always with me my my little Ichigo my fluffy um, so I decided to get this done and I got it engraved it was all for free I, it was so awesome I love being a member with Pet Barn um, but I got this and it says it's, I'll show you real quick that's what it looks like and it says oh shit I'm lost <laughs> mum's probably ug ugly crying uh, call Leah and then of course on the back it's got his name I'm not going to show you the number but then it's got his name Ichigo it's going to be it's going to probably look reverse but anyway um, but I got that and I've got yeah I put his name and then he then my number underneath I just thought it was so cool and now I'm going to go and buy another one for the little dash hand so that way she's got one I'm going to put the exact same on it um, but I'm going to get her pink of course because she's a girl um, but yeah, so that's probably the only positive about today is that I got this for free and I finally got the dog tag that I've been waiting and wanting to get. Anyway, so that's pretty much what I've been doing today. I'm waiting on a parcel coming, so I don't know what it is, um, because it doesn't really, I, I don't know. One of my parcels had either gotten lost or something and I think this might be the one. I'm not sure. So hopefully when that does eventually get here, um, I will be able to show you but yeah that was that's basically my morning I went to pup, pet barn try to do something nice for the birds by giving them nests and the bloody little it flew out I can't believe it just happened it just it just happened and those little things I swear to god they're so little zippy they're so fast it's not even funny all right I'm gonna go have some food because I'm hungry um, and I'll check in with you later oh my god the day gets better okay um Nothing makes me more happy than seeing this right now because I've been waiting almost a month just to get this baby. It is here. So I will probably do a separate video of this just to show you what it is. It's kind of like an unboxing kind of, well it is, it's an unboxing. <laughs> oh, and I know what it is. I'm gonna have a sneak peek. Okay, I can have a look. calm down right now so what's in here is the plan is anonymous planner you have no idea how long I have been waiting to get my hands on one of their planners just one and I found the perfect one I just need to breathe right now because I'm getting really lightheaded and dizzy because of the excitement oh my god oh my god oh okay Okay, I'm going to go and unbox this and do a video on that and lose my mind. <laughs> I'll check in with you later. Good morning, lovelies. Today is Thursday. <laughs> um, I'm pretty sure it's Thursday. Yeah, it's Thursday. Um, so I got a parcel this morning. So I know we're having a lot of parcels this week. It's great. All my things are finally coming. Um, so yeah, I... I couldn't help myself. <laughs> I got it from Sephora. Um, yeah, I kind of needed it, but I didn't at the same time. But this is me we're talking about, so. Anyway, let's get into it. I want to see what. Oh, it's supposed to be that way. Okay, I always love the inside. Why can't they make the outside like that? Okay, so I grabbed a couple of things from. Pat McGrath because they were having a sale and I think it was like 50% off or something like that. Don't know, but I love their brand, um, which is why I got it. So this is what I got. And I, oh my God, it's so cute. And I didn't know they were going to put confetti in it or like little sequins, whatever. Um, so it's just a Pat McGrath Labs uh, mini lip fetish lip balm trio and I really really wanted this because this is gonna this shit is gonna go everywhere oh my god why did they do that that's fine actually because I'm a crafter and I could probably use these sequins from for something so this is what it is and that's what it looks like on the back but I wanted to get them because they're little minis and these would be per these would be perfect for like my car 
Oh, look how cute they are! Oh, look! They are so cute. Oh, and there's a sequin stuck to it. So I'm going to put them in the order that they came in. Oh, this is... Oh, my God. It's going to go everywhere. Okay. So that's how they were in... Ugh! Still came out. So this is what they are in the packet. Alright. I'm just going to carefully put that over there. Um, okay. So this first one, this one is a clear lip balm, which is just... I love the lips. It's so cute. Just wanted that. Look how tiny it is. It's so cute. I think I got it for like 20 bucks, which is pretty awesome. I love the lips on this. It looks so cool. And this one is a uh, flesh and it's a sheer color balm. It's just, I don't know. I just really wanted it. When I heard lip balm, I was, oh, stop focusing on everything else. When I heard lip balm, I was like, hell yes, because it gives you a bit of color. And I think that's really cool. Um, and then we've got the blow up. So this is what the blow up is. I'm trying to make sure it can just look at the lipstick, not me. So that's the lip balm one. Just make sure there's no sequences anywhere else. I'm going to just move that over there. Go into your little place. Okay, the next one I decided to grab, and there's more fucking sequences. <laughs> um, it's another Pat McGrath pack. Pretty sure this was like 22, 20, uh, 20 bucks, okay, roughly. Um, and these are little mini lust um, glosses, which I think is awesome. Why? Why, why the sequences? Open that up. I'm so glad I decided to grab these scissors. Ooh, so we've got this first one, and this one is Flesh 4 Lust Gloss. I just realized one of these had like a number. That's blow up. This one's just a clear, and this one is Flesh 3. That's what it is. Oh, you're not going to see it, are you? Can you see it? Anyway. Um, so yeah, this is Flesh 4. And this, like, look at this. I love this design. It just, it looks so, so cute. And I love the color. It's going to look so good. This is what it looks like. I always love these little doe foot applicators. I think they're wonderful. So we've got like a brown, brown North color. North. Then we have this one, which is the Bronze Temptation. And mind you, I do have the bigger versions, but I think I've just got the the fox, fork, faux, faux real, I think that's what they call it. Love that one. It is so good. I love these lip glosses because they're so creamy on the lips and everything. And, that, and that's what this color is. Hang on, I'm trying to make sure it just... Look at this, not me. So that's that one. That one looks pretty. And then, what did I tell you that one? Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to bring it. I love how um, luxe these are too. Like, I just feel real fancy. Because um, they're just, they're just, they're in like this really nice bottle. And it just looks really high end. It is high end, I won't lie. They're quite pricey. But, um, and this one is Flesh Fantasy. This is what it looks like. I love it. I can't wait to put this all on my lips. <laughs> oh, I love it. Oh, these are so cute. And I love them. Look how tiny and cute they are. These are going to be perfect for like, you know, chucking in your purse um, or, you know, your little tiny bag. Because I love my bags. I, I only have like the little tiny bags because they're perfect for me at the moment. Especially with the fact that, you know, um, fibro kind of hurts everything. And I don't really want a weighty, heavy bag on my shoulder. So I kind of just go for the small bags that can fit my phone, my wallet. Of course, I have a tiny wallet as well. Um, and at least a lip gloss or lip balm. Um, and also my keys. You know, the basic necessities of what you need when you go out. You don't need like all this crap. I just don't. 
I feel like you just don't. Um, then we go. Oh, I got a freebie. I got freebies. Oh, so I got a tan luxe. The face, illuminating self tan drops, light to medium. How do they know my shade? They they kind of nailed it. And then we've got oh yes, I use this stuff. It's so good. It's the Caviel anti aging. Uh, replenishing moisture shampoo and conditioner. Oh, I haven't tried this actually. I have like the leave-in conditioner one. So good. Um, but that's what that looks like. And apparently that's the bottles there. If you're interested. So I'm actually quite keen to try those out. Where's the pins? Oh, I can't get it out. Give me a second. Oh, I forgot these were in here. Um, so I couldn't help myself. I decided to get them. So... I'm going to show you the first one. These are eyeshadows. This one is just a Sephora brand, I'm pretty sure it is. And this one is like a colourful effect sequence. I don't know. Um, but it's called uh, Fool's Gold. So number 27. I'll just show you that. And then, um, I don't even know why I was covering it like that. Uh, but this is what it looks like. Oh, it's not going to... It's not going to show it, is it? Oh, I'm going to have to open it just to show you because it looks way too good and the camera's not picking it up. Because I really want you to see it. It looks beautiful, which is why I've got it, obviously. And we all know me. It sparkles. <laughs> so, oh, this is cute. Wait, what's on the bottom? Is that, does it come? Oh my God, the bottom comes off. Why? What? can replace it that is cool that is you can either replace it or you can actually sustainably put it where it needs to be that's pretty cool because you can pull it out oh, that, okay anyway let's get into showing you what it looks like but I really hope it picks it up oh it's not picking it up why I might just do a separate shot of what it actually looks like here somewhere or after this part anyway that oh, it looks so pretty it's like this beautiful like rose gold kind of color oh I'm gonna love it um, and then we've got this one I'm just gonna go in and open it straight away another Sephora brand of course um, but this one is and it's number 205 and it's called ballet shoes but that's what it looks like oh, it's not even picking it up why it i promise you it looks amazing it looks absolutely amazing it looks so much better in person i'm not lying it, oh, it looks so much better um but yeah so i've got those i like to double check otherwise i throw it away Okay, next up on the show. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, the next one I decided to get was the It um, Bye Bye Pores. You know, the It Cosmetics? That's what it's called, yeah. Um, Bye Bye Pores Blush. Uh, I am obsessed with It Cosmetics at the moment. I don't know why. I'm just really obsessed with them because they're really, really good for my skin. This one bottle I decided to use, it was like a gel moisturizer. And it was so good I still use it now um, but it's just it's just so lightweight on the skin it doesn't feel greasy or anything and there's so many good things about it for your skin so I thought why the hell not buy a couple of these things anyway um, I've been really looking for a good blush and I've heard good things about this one so I decided I'm gonna try it um, but this one is like a poreless finish airbrush brightening blush blush illuminate nature Oh, that's just a different language. Um, but yeah, it's anti-aging and skin loving. Uh, bye bye pores, optical blur technology, silk hydrolyzed collagen, antioxidants, peptides. I don't care. It's just good for the skin, and that's what I'm all about. But this is what the packet looks like. Um, and I got the warm peach. Oh, come on. Warm peach. 
Um, like I don't usually, oh, I can't get in and do it that way. Well, I'm gonna go from the book. Um, I don't usually always wear blush, but when I really want to, I want something nice on my skin. Ooh, this, the packaging feels really luxe. Like, amazing. Hang on, give me one second. This looks like it's not even close. Is that better? Yeah, as I was saying, the packaging, it just feels really, really luxe. Like it's a velvet on the fingers. It just feels absolutely beautiful. But yeah, so let's have a look. Yeah, naturally pretty warm peach. Let's have a look at it. Ooh, I love this. I'm just going to pull that plastic off and I'm going to try and... I love how they put the their brand on the mirror. There's a little mirror, but I'm going to have to cover it because it'll blind you. But that is the colour right there. It just looks really pretty. Wow. Oh. So I got that for a blush. Super, super keen because this is basically going to be my only blush. Um, then next up, I had... I really wanted to try it because it looked absolutely amazing on somebody else. Um, <laughs> probably... Uh, who was it? Nikia Joy. I love watching her videos when it comes to some makeup and whatnot. But she said she was using this stick and I absolutely loved it and I really, really wanted to try it. But this one is the Vegan uh, KVD Beauty uh, Dazzle Stick. That's what it looks like. Um, and I got Hail Surge. That's what I got. Let me get into the package. If I can. Apparently we can't have the nice things. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, maybe I'll try out KVD next. This is really nice. Look at the packaging. Looks really cute. I don't know, just real nice high-end fancy. Um, but yeah, as I said, I got Hail Surge and oh. Oh. <laughs> that looks amazing. Can you see that? Oh, it just looks, it looks so pretty. Oh, that shimmer. Oh my God. That's a, wow. Okay. I really can't wait to get this on my eyes. This is so pretty. I just want to use it on my eyes. That's all. I just, oh my God, that looks so pretty. I can't wait to use it. All right, last one in the box um, and it is It Cosmetic Skincare. So I decided to get like a little travel box just to see if it will work with my skin to just make sure that it was, you know, something that was going to work for my skin. I never ever buy the big bottles just because I'm like, well, what if it doesn't work out? Then I have to throw that whole bottle out and then find something else so that's why i go for the little mini travel kit ones or the sampler i don't know they're either sampler or they're the travel kit so i go for those when i'm trying something new just to be positive on the fact that is it going to be okay for my skin um but yeah so i've decided to get it cosmetics and this is just a you're on the go confidence travel skincare routine now it's got everything in this and it's got a confidence in a cleanser, confidence in a cream, uh, and confidence in a in an eye cream as well. And they've actually shown on the back here, like some results and everything. Like it's really cool. Anyway, I've heard a lot of good things about it. Now I wouldn't try something if I didn't hear anything that was great about it. Um, so I love how it's got to be in this little cute nice wrapping paper i might keep the wrapping paper for my crafting of course <gasps> not if it rips anyway so ooh, so cute uh, so yeah we got this little cleanser bottle here this one's confidence in a cleanser gentle for all skin type types um skin transforming hydrating cleansing serum uh anti-aging amul rejuvenating Con concent concentrate <laughs> um yeah so i've 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 done a lot of research on it it it's it seems pretty good so yeah developed with plastic surgeons clinical results 
maybe that's why it's really good for my skin. I mean, I've, I've seen so much good things happening to my skin from just using that one little, well, it's not little, it's actually quite a big bottle, um, gel moisturizer. And it's just, oh, it's just good. You've got to try it if you haven't tried it. Um, okay, so this one is the, what is it? Confidence in an eye cream, anti-aging in it. Rejuvenative concentrate. Basically what it says on the cleansing bottle, but this is just an eye cream and it brightens, repairs and transforms, which I'm quite, actually I wanna, I kind of, why won't you let me in? Because it's not a twist top, it's a pull top. Oh, it smells really nice. Yeah, that's, that's nice, that's okay. I wanted to, maybe let me try. There's a cap on it, of course. I'll, I don't want to open it yet because I'm still at the end of my other cleanser. And then when I finish that, I'm going to be trying these. Ah, uh, yes. So the, obviously in the travel pack, you get like a little sampler of it. But I've got the big bottle of this. It's really, really good. I can highly recommend this to anyone. So it's just like a watery gel kind of feel. It is, you put it on, it just feels like water, to be honest. And it's straight into the skin. Doesn't feel sticky. It's just amazing. But it's confidence in a gel lotion, hydro plumping, skin transforming, weightless moisturizer. Look, that's what it is. That's amazing. I, I, it's so good. You've got to try it. Um, and then we have the, um, which one's this? What if? Oh, oh, I think this is just the cream. Yeah. Oh, and it's got a cap on it, so we can't smell it. That is a twist. Uh, yeah, so this is just the cream. Cool. Okay, I can't wait to try this because I'm super, super excited about this now. Um, so yeah, that's what I got in my little parcel for the day. I'm going to put these in their place of where they need to be. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do today. I'm going to probably still chill. I'm still feeling quite sore from the pool on Monday, which is just not cool. <laughs> it's not fun. Um, but yeah, so, oh, I can't wait to play with this stuff. Oh my goodness. But yeah, this is, this is, this is awesome. All right, I'm going to check in with you later. <laughs> hey, lovelies. Um, I'm just, this is a bit of a weird angle, so, yeah. Uh, just bear with it. Um, I just wanted to quickly show you that my other parcel arrived. Very, very happy with it. Um, so, of course, I had to make a purchase from the Kia Joy. Um, cosmetics and I absolutely love them. Hang on, wait, let me give me a moment. Let's, let's do this. <laughs> but yeah, so I grabbed a couple of things because I really wanted them because they were back in stock and I decided to grab her pigments, I think that's what they're called. But the first one that I had got was peaches. So this is the Nikia Joy Cosmetics, and I grabbed in the color peach. Hoping you can see that, but it looks really pretty. I'll see if I can show you, but that's what it's kind of looking like. I don't know, it just it looks really stunning. But that's the color. I'm trying to make sure it doesn't like fall out or anything. But that's the peaches one. Then I also grabbed the veil. That one. I hope you can see it. Veil. I just I thought there was something under my thumb. Um, oh, it won't open. And this one's a really pretty colour as well. I'm really into them. They look absolutely stunning, like I said. They just look so pretty. Um, hopefully the camera will pick that up, but they look, oh, they just look so much better in person. I'm not going to lie. They look amazing. Um, and then of course I decided to grab, I mean, I know I've got extensions in at the moment, but when my hair is a mess, but when I do decide to get, or, you know, when I do decide to actually wear lashes and I don't have these on, I decided to buy more. I decided to get another set of lashes these ones are so i don't have these ones these ones are gabriella and they're the 3d silk lashes hoping you can see that they just look really pretty and let me get it out of the packet 
I don't want to wreck it because it just looks, it's so luxe. It looks absolutely beautiful. So that's what it looks like there. And I was having a bit of a touch, like feeling them earlier. And they just look, hang on, I'm going to have to sit up now. <laughs> but they look absolutely stunning in this packaging. And they're so like soft and fluffy. Can you see that? Look at that. They look so pretty. I just love the packaging. Like I said, it just, it's all luxe. It's just, mm, you just feel really, really special. <laughs> but that is what I got for my little parcel today. I don't think I'm getting any more, but we'll see. Um, so yeah, that's what I grabbed from Nikia Joy Cosmetics. Like I've, like I've told everyone, I am obsessed with all of her stuff. Um, yeah, I, I can't wait to try these all out. Okay, I'm going to leave it there and I'll check in with you later. this happens every time and <laughs> I have to act like I'm on the phone to someone that is like you know on the phone through my speaker in my car anyway I got my nails done and they look fantastic I love 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 them Lee did a fantastic job I always always love her work so definitely if you're over in the neighborhood ask for Lee to do your nails. I always love her work. I will always get her to do my nails because I'm always asking for her because um, she likes to make sure it's perfect and she knows what I like and she does what I like. Um, all right, I'm just going to quickly go grab a drink and then I will be back with you later. The camera is a little shaky. Um, I just got home. Oh, that feels so much better. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I basically got my nails done. Holly did such a fantastic, ooh, ooh, I don't know what happened there, but, um, yeah, she did a fantastic job. I wonder if you can kind of see it in the light. Like, look how pretty they are. Oh, I love them. Oh, she always does a fantastic job. Lee is amazing. Um, also, I decided to go and gra grab my favorite drink, which is the Matcha Chiller from Gloria Jeans. I also asked them to put lactose milk in it, only because, well, I'm lactose intolerant. Um, and I also uh, get them to add a bit of a, uh, so it's, I think it's called like a vanilla shot. Um, but I ask if they can put vanilla, um, a vanilla shot in the matcha chiller and, oh, it's my favorite. It's just like a tea, but in cold form. <laughs> um, but I really like it. I absolutely love it. Um, I will probably take a photo of it later before I eat, drink it all, but you know, it just tastes so good. But yeah, so I'm really, really happy with my nails. That's what I did for the morning. I'm going to probably clean up the house, blare the music loud as I can because, well, why the hell not? I love having music on loud when I don't have a headache, of course. Um, it just gets me in a really, really happy mood, especially when I am just feeling a bit off, but I'm in a really good mood right now. So it's going to make my mood even more like happier. It'll just skyrocket. <laughs> Uh, because yeah, I'll just clean. I'll probably dance. That's what I always do. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna blare the music really loud, just because I can. All right, I'll see you later. <laughs>